Amen, Mr. Bear. Amen. And before we say goodnight, there's just time for tonight's parable. For it did come to pass that on the road there was a wise man and a foolish man and a weird man. And there did come upon them from the local village a truth seeker named Unlikely Brian. And he did come to them with arms and someone else's arms and a question. A wise and weird and foolish man, he said, whilst dancing the traditional jig of inquiry common in those lands at those times. How, grant thou, can the many weights and measures of life be balanced? And the wise man did say, there are no riches greater than family. And the foolish man did say he'd heard a good tip for the camel race and that it was a sure thing. And the weird man did say that two ears was just the right of number because there was no good place to put a third that wouldn't be aesthetically upsetting. Although he did see the use for a second anus. And unlikely Brian did fall into wonder and befuddlement at their answers, although he was also wondering if either the foolish man or the weird man had any actual value in this sort of professional consultative environment for what he did not know was that the profound man and the practical man were both on annual leave that week, and the foolish man and the weird man were all that the agency had available. But what unlikely Brian did not reveal was that he was asking for his friend Alex, who had enraged their spouse over a passport, treated their son Charlie like he was still a little baby, and was too miserly to even pay for their daughter's holiday. <laughs> And thus did Alex's family become like our Lord when he discovered a turd in his cradle and was forced to ask Nebuchadnezzar to leave. Well, that's all we have time for tonight. I'm Archangel Megan Wolf. Have a hateful night. Are we done? Oh my God. I thought I was going to piss myself all the way through that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Right, babe, I've got to go and get my bits done. Yeah, I'm seeing that guy tonight again, aren't I? Yeah, well, at the end of the day, babes, he makes my fanny flutter. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, come on then, you lot, out my house. And you, Alex. All right, I don't want you here when I'm on my date. I'm on a promise. Alex, wake up. Wake up. <laughs>